Hey everybody, welcome back to another quick design tutorial and today we'll be designing this quick prototype uh, of a 3D pop-up. Now if I click on this option, as I click, this three-dimensional pop-up comes in and as I click again here, it'll go away. So it almost feels as if it's coming from another, uh, you know, th there's, there's a depth of field in this uh, area and there's a Z axis over which this entire preview is uh, animating on. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a quick artboard here. This is an iPhone 6, 7 and 8 artboard. So that is what the dimensions are. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna copy over uh, these little guys. Let me just uh, ungroup the symbol. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy these, these little guys, which are the menu items from my original design onto this design. You know, let's not waste time designing the whole thing because I just wanna show you guys how to create that 3D pop-up, which is pretty cool. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select the whole artboard and I'm gonna say Command D or Control D to duplicate the artboard. So this is the new artboard, which is the same as this. And what I'm gonna do is quickly uh, select the rectangle and put a rectangle on top which will be the black um, fading background. And I'm gonna make this black quickly. Yep. 50% uh, opacity, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna create the menu rectangle. Real quick, let's do it. Okay, perfect. This, slide, this should be slightly longer, yeah. Uh, yes, and I'm gonna place this in the center here. I'm gonna make sure that the border radius is eight pixels, yeah. That's what we used before. Just gonna copy the contents from my original design onto this quickly. Yep. This is like a real rapid uh, prototyping session, you know, what we're having, literally rapid. And that's, that's the final menu that we wanna have. Now is the time to create the magic happen. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to make the magic happen, I'm gonna copy both of these, the black background as well as this preview copy this over to this perfect now um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna uh, click on I'm gonna select this group which is the menu or which is the loading preview sorry and I'm gonna make sure that I invert I invert this so I'm gonna click on flip vertically here and that's how you do it that's the quickest way to do it I'm just gonna select this loading preview and flip it vertically again so the only, the, the only thing which is um, not flipped is the loading preview and everything else will be flipped. And I'm gonna select the whole group and I am gonna uh, hold shift and I'm just gonna increase the size of the whole preview to make sure that, uh, that it's covering the entire page. It's covering the entire artboard. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and say com command colon or control colon for Windows, and I'm gonna just hide this. That's the shortcut for hiding anything. I'm gonna use the same shortcut, command colon, to hide the black background as well. What I'm gonna do, just to add an extra 3D effect to the whole area, to the whole atmosphere in this uh, artboard, I'm gonna select the artboard. I'm gonna select all of these menu items, which is from group two to, group seven to group two, yeah. I'm gonna resize these, I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna make them smaller. Um, wait a minute, just gonna, yeah. So everything is selected, I'm gonna, just gonna make everything smaller. Um, oops, uh, and I'm gonna select them again because I've unselected them, I'm, I'm a fool sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna make them much smaller, perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, and that is the final result. So we've done everything we needed to do here and we've done everything we need to do here. Let's see how it's turned out. Let's uh, prototype the whole thing and I'm gonna click on the rectangle and I'm gonna drag this arrow to this uh, artboard and I'm gonna say tap, auto animate, perfect. I'm gonna say snap and duration I'm keeping right now is 0.4 seconds because we want the pop-up to appear quickly so that the whole 3D effect isn't ruined. And I'm gonna click on this uh, cross 
And I'm gonna bring it back here. So when we click on this, it comes back. And here the snap shall be 0.6 seconds and everything else should be the same. Let's see the magic happen. I'm gonna preview this, open this, and I'm gonna click on this card to appear, to make the whole pop-up thing appear. Perfect. That is just lovely. It seems like it's coming from another 3D space. It's uh, moving on the Z axis and the whole invert thing has really helped us get the whole uh, snappy poppy kind of pop-up getting done. Okay, I said poppy pop-up. Okay, I don't know. So uh, that was a little cool little tutorial for you guys to start off your week. If you like this tutorial, I have another 3D tutorial just like this one where I animate a menu, a 3D menu that is pretty cool. I'm going to link that down in the description. Probably going to pop it up on the screen as well. If you like this video, do hit the thumbs up just like this. Yeah, yeah. The whole animation thing won't happen there, but just hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon real hard, real, real, real hard because that makes sure that you get all my videos before everyone else. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, YouTube. <laughs> and also comment below if you want to watch anything new. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep watching. Have a great day. Enjoy this design. Peace.